Episode 3, Collecting and Mining Resources. Well, this is the Hunter's Cottage. It is the first basic resource building that you can construct. It produces food by hunting surrounding animals. It costs 1 energy and 80 gold. It has a defense life of 40, overall health of 160. It provides 2 colonists. Note these are not workers. It has a gold upkeep cost of 2 provides varying amounts of food, has a watch range of six, and an energy need of one. Now, as you can see, the plains round up, and trees and forests, these all affect the food that you will generate. It's normally best to put them very close to forests, such as this right here. It's a very nice tactic, it works quite well for me. They generate usually a lot of food because when you put them in planes, planes can and do tend to get built on. On to the fisherman's cottage. It costs 1 energy and 80 gold. It collects food from, you guessed it, the surrounding water. A varying amount. Uh, I used to believe it was one every tile, every food tile, or water tile that it is gathering from adds to it. It gives you two colonists, two up, a gold upkeep of two, a six watch range and one energy. Now, doing the counting here, you, you kind of get an idea that maybe it's every food ta every tile. It looks to be every single tile that's in full water, not counting the edges, is how much it generates. Now, as for placement of these structures, as you can see, they can't come into contact with one another, so you have to spread them out and you have to be very careful so as to get as many in your perimeter. On to farms. Farms require 4 energy, 30 wood and 300 gold. They collect, by, they collect grain or wheat from the surrounding plains. Now it can be placed on stone, it has to be placed on the field. The highest you can get from one is 64 food. Now of course you can upgrade to an advanced one which we will see in later episodes. But 64 is the magic number. 300 health overall, 75 defense life until it is opened by the zombies. Provides 12 colonists, so note they are not workers. A gold upkeep cost of 20. This provides 64, 62, this current one has a watch range of 6 cells and you need 4 energy. As you can see it will not work outside of planes. So don't place them anywhere else. I don't know of any reason why you would but that this is the general placement of farms. As much as you can get, 64, it's the magic number. Well, with the food buildings all out of the way, we can get on to wood, the next major resource. Now, wood requires a sawmill. Four workers, four energy, 300 wood, or gold. <laughs> you can place it surprisingly next to wood. Now, the way it works is, for every two trees, it's one wood. I've done the maths, it seems to work. So if you were to count all of them, it goes to about two trees. Now, in certain cases, if you've five trees have noticed, like put it this way, there there was three trees and you could generate two wood, even though there's not four. And see, there we go as you creep in. If you, if you do pause and count the screen, you will see that for every two trees is a single wood. It's usually the best to go on and when we move on to the quarries, you will see that that is probably the best thing. At this point I realise the infection is spreading and whilst I was recording I neglected that I do have to defend the perimeter. Under quarries. Quarries now, this is all your massive amounts of resources. Now, over here in the panel there's the wood, there's the stone, iron and oil. Now stone. These are what stone resources look like. They require a quarry and you can eventually build an advanced one. They need 4 workers, 4 energy, 30 wood and 300 gold. When you place it down, every 2 of the resource, so as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So divide that by 2, that means 
Well, you get five. For every two, you'll get five. For every two, you'll get one. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. How much it'll make? Three stone. Works perfectly with this. And there's also gold deposits and iron deposits, which I will show you down here. This is a gold one. Now, gold's extremely useful for every one tile or one cell, it's 10 gold. Now, the key to it all is it has, well, this one has 50 defense life, 6 gold upkeep, 6 watch range, 4 workers needed, and 4 energy. Overall health of 200. Now, on to what I was saying. This is the iron one. So this will generate 2 iron because it's in the radius of 4. Now, in an ideal world, you want to place it, like, here. If you want more gold, you lean it that way. You want more iron, you lean it that way. That means you maximize, so when you get two deposits very close together or a very large one, be sure to place it in the most efficient position possible to get the most bang for your buck. On to the final late game resource, we're on to oil. Now oil is only required towards the end of towards the end of the game, and you'll get it from a foundry. It'll be in that square right there. They're a hefty investment and they only generate five. They have 500 health, 125 defense life, higher than most buildings, um, minus 80 gold cost, plus five oil supply, plus seven watch range, eight workers are needed and 30 electricity. So you have to be very careful because one windmill will be needed to provide all the energy for this one building. Those right there are oil pools, much to my surprise when I first started, I didn't actually know that. So when you place it down, it makes a very unique noise for the oil platform. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the animation is pretty cool. I really like this building. Well lads, that has been the conclusion of episode 3, that is collecting and mining resources. Hopefully you find it all useful, and in our next episode, which is coming, its preview is coming, it's coming, here it is. We will be looking at houses, so from the tent, to the cottage, to the stone house. How do you build them? What do they provide? What's the optimal position for them? More to come. There are, I have several episodes lined up, even after the houses one which will be looking into resources wall placement and some other tactics thank you so much for the continued support of the channel you have all been fantastic and hope to see you in future episodes adios <laughs>